Hey, let me get one thing out the way. I don't promote drug use. That's all I had to say. Hey, so I'm running an experiment right now. Right now. I took my last dose at 5.30 yesterday morning. It is right now about to be 5 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So I'm almost at 36 hours since my last dose. And I just want to let you guys know how I'm feeling. So this morning, it was weird not waking up and going to the clinic. I will say that at about 30 hours, I started to feel uncomfortable. At about 33 hours, it got a little worse. And right now at 36 hours, it's time to drink my methadone. I don't want to wait anymore. Like I'm 26 days clean. And this is what I was talking about. Me doing this little experiment, it's making me think about doing something that I know I shouldn't do. <laughs> so without further ado, Let's go ahead and dose together today, since it's a take home. Now, I've gotten my dose up to 75 milligrams. It's a little, it's, it's good. For somebody who's never uh, took opiates before, they say it's about 40 milligrams, 35 milligrams that can kill you. So me being at 75, I'm almost at about double the dose, but I am going up tomorrow. I'm going from 75 to 80, and then I want to go from 80 to 85 and 85 to 90, and I want to stay at 90. I don't want to go up anymore. I just want to go down. So without further ado, let's knock this back. <laughs> let's knock this back. Y'all ready? <laughs> So it's what happens every morning. I say, good morning. I'm at the clinic window and the lady's like, good morning. Here's your dose. You want Kool-Aid or water? That's what she said. And I, every morning I'm like, I want some Kool-Aid. <laughs> I take a little swig of the Kool-Aid and then I. Mm. Now, if it's your first time taking methadone, I swear it's going to taste like some Tylenol. Some Robitussin, some NyQuil, <laughs> but it's legit and it's straight and I couldn't be happier, man. Like I feel so much better than I was on Suboxone. <laughs> I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in it just to get all that methadone. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Swish it around. Mm. So initially, guys, I felt pretty normal, but it was like that 30 hour mark. Now, when I wake up to go to the clinic tomorrow, I'm not going to be sick because I took my dose so late in the day today. But I had to see at what time did I start feeling like, oh, man, like this is getting bad because you hear those nightmares of like, man, methadone is like the worst thing to come off of. And it's got to be true because I hear it so much. So I just wanted to try it for myself. But I've yet to miss a day completely. Like, you know how, like, if you don't wake up, you miss your dose for the day. That has not happened to me yet. Thank God. Because me and my mom wake up. So, you know, like, we're not going to miss that. It's really important that I make it. <laughs> I'm usually in the door at about 515 every morning, which is early. They're open from five to seven. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys though. But I'm maintaining, I'm about to go up to 80 milligrams tomorrow. And I think 90 is going to be the sweet spot, but I might just make it 80. You know, why have to taper down an extra 10 if I don't have to? If I'm feeling good off 75. So that's all I got for y'all, man. See y'all on the next one.